In this video, I'm gonna be explaining what accounts are inside of Salesforce CRM. I'll explain what they are, how to create new accounts, and also how to manage accounts with ease inside of the system. Welcome CRM crew, my name is Nick. Just before we get into the video, if you do need any further assistance with Salesforce, please check out my website below. We help businesses all around the world with CRM systems. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So once you log into your Salesforce system, of course, you will come to the home screen. Now in this video, as we are discussing accounts, let's head over to our accounts area up the top here. Now, you firstly may be wondering what exactly are accounts? Accounts inside of your Salesforce system are essentially businesses, okay? This is where we can manage absolutely any business that has any association with your business. This could be clients, this could be your accountants, this could be media or press, absolutely anything. And this is where we can easily track that account information. Now, the nice thing about accounts is in case you're not familiar, contacts and accounts are directly linked as are opportunities and many other modules or entities or objects whatever you want to call them inside of your salesforce system so that is the relationship side of things so you will be able to connect lots and lots of different contacts which are individuals to one account making account management even easier as you can see everyone who works for that account so now hopefully you understand that accounts are literally just businesses inside of your Salesforce system. Let's go ahead and create our first account. So if we press the new button up the top right hand corner here, what we need to do is go ahead and fill in some relevant information. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in my business as an account. So we'll call it CRM crew. And in the nice way it searches information there, you can then select the type. So what type of account is this inside of your system? So you can see we've got competitors, customers, integrators, investors, partners. You can see there's a wide range of different options here and that allows us to accommodate for any account. And I strongly recommend tracking every type of account or every type of business that you engage with inside of your Salesforce system. Don't exclusively just track your customers or prospective customers. It's really useful to have every piece of information available for all the users to access. So in this instance, I'm gonna put press just as an example. We can also associate a parent account. So if this is a subsidiary of a larger organization, then you can make that connection, which is really, really handy. And then you need to fill out some basic information such as the website, uh, phone number as well. Uh, description if you'd like to you can select the industry so if i can find technology or, or software there we go that will do and then you can put the number of employees so how many people work for that particular business and then we can select the billing address and the shipping address now obviously the billing is where you charge anything to and then the shipping is where that gets sent to so these could be two totally different offices one's the finance and one's the headquarters for example it could be absolutely anything you will also, if you're on a bespoke or customized Salesforce system, you'll have unique fields for your account or for your business and you go ahead and fill in that information as well. So once you've created a new account, just press the save button. It's really, really simple. You can see here that our account information has now been loaded. We can see the phone number, the website, we can see who owns the account. And obviously here, this is what I mentioned at the start of the video, we can see all the relationships between the accounts and every other object, module, entity, whatever you want to call them inside of the Salesforce system. So as you can see here, we've got related contacts and you can assign any contact to an account. Again, opportunities. So if this uh, particular account is going through a sale, you'll be able to see the opportunities or the, or the sales that they're going through. Any campaigns, if they've been involved in any campaigns, you can see contracts, cases, notes, files, we can upload files. Obviously cases is case resolution, so if, if this particular account had any issues with the product, then you will see the cases here as well. So you can easily see and you can easily manage all of the relationships as well. As you can see, we've got the new button. So if we wanted to, we could just come to the account area and press new contact and we could create a new contact and make that association directly from accounts, so it's very, very handy. We've also got at the top here details, and this is just the additional information. We entered this information in when we created the account, but you can see it and amend it up here if needs be. 
And then we have news. So you can log into Twitter and this will be connected to the Twitter. And also if it's a big organization, unfortunately I'm not a big enough organization to be making the news, but if it is, it will pull any news information into your Salesforce system, which is really, really handy. And then on the right hand side, we have activity and chatter. So this is where we can log phone calls, tasks, events, and emails with accounts. Now the chances are you'd probably be doing this with contacts as opposed to accounts, but depending on how your business operates, it may be applicable that you log it in this this area or this part of the system, so in the accounts area instead. And you can easily just log a phone call, create the subject, uh, send letter, send quote, comments, and then you can obviously associate with any contacts as well and press the save button and that applies the same for new task and new event and if you have your email connected which i do not you can also integrate and then send emails from your salesforce system to that particular account and then at the top we also have the chatter so this is kind of like a slack sort of communications channel inside of your salesforce system um, and you can communicate with other users inside of the system with regards to this particular account so this is just handy for keeping additional information and communicating to make sure everyone knows what is going on you can tag people in your posts and like your posts it's, it's very interesting it's quite a clever little feature there inside of salesforce so if we go back to the related area hopefully you are familiar with the, uh, the accounts area, as you can see, you can view the account hierarchy. So as we were creating our account inside of Salesforce, I mentioned about the parent account, you'd be able to see that if that was applicable. We can edit it and delete it as well. And using the drop down menu, we can create new notes, but we can also do that here as well if we would like to. So I'm just gonna head back to our accounts area. So if I select the accounts at the top and you'll be able to see CRM crew has now been added. So with regards to managing our accounts on a more general basis, we can use a number of different views. Um, if you go to the top left hand corner here, you will see the list view options. You can see all accounts, my accounts, recently viewed and viewed accounts or recently viewed accounts. Um, and you can use the pin to pin that particular view. So every time you log on to the system, you will always go to that particular view. So if I just go to my accounts, or if I go to recently viewed accounts, you can see that only two, I can then pin it. And every time I come onto the system, I'll only ever see the recently viewed account. So it's entirely up to you how you wanna set that up. We've also got a few different view options as in displays. So if I, if you go to this button over here, use the drop down menu, we've got table, Kanban and split view. Now, I don't think Kanban view is gonna be particularly applicable to the accounts area, but if we go to split view, you'll be able to split between the list on the left hand side and the actual detailed information, which is in my opinion, very, very handy because it means you don't have to click into each account and then wait for it to load up, et cetera, to make changes or add additional information. You can just click it on the left hand side, manage it accordingly as you would need to, and then you can go ahead and move on to the next account. And you can change that back just here if you use the drop down menu and switch back to the table. Now we can also use the drop down menu for each of our accounts and as you can see we can edit it, delete it and change the owner as well. Um, so hopefully you are now very familiar with what accounts are inside of your Salesforce system. You can very easily create them and it is super simple to create them and like I said at the start of this video and I know I have mentioned this a couple of times but it's absolutely worth doing. Please track every account that is associated with your business. A lot of businesses don't do this um, and they're missing out on key information. It just means that you do not have to communicate with other team members to find the information that you want. Therefore obviously saving you time in the long run and then hopefully you can now very very easily manage your accounts as well and you can change the different views um, to keep it really really simple now you can also filter your accounts and if you're familiar with the filtering you can just press the filter button and go through that i'm not going to go into that in this video as that is slightly more detailed but hopefully this video has been of value and i'll see you in a moment's time you should now be familiar with accounts, how to create accounts and how to manage them really, really easily inside of your Salesforce system. If you have enjoyed the video or found it at all useful, please consider giving it a like, possibly even subscribing. If you have any further questions at all, you are more than welcome to drop a comment below or you could email me as my details are in the description below and I will do my best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I will hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.